Even though she was fighting her own battle, Nancy Columbus was there to celebrate her son's biggest victory. You know, <laughs> my mom was a huge inspiration for my entire life. A happy memory from a painful time. You talk about somebody that was gonna support you at everything you've, you've ever done. Uh, it didn't matter whether it was football, basketball, baseball, school, uh, she was gonna be my biggest cheerleader. Two years earlier, when Tyler was playing for Washington, doctors diagnosed his mom with stage four ovarian cancer. It was bad, it was really bad. She had gained like 30 pounds in her stomach in like a week's time. And they told us that it, it might be months. And so uh, at that point, I didn't know if I was gonna ever see my mom again once I left for the season. Her battle was fought in hospitals and doctor's offices for six years, but in April, Tyler's family lost its rock. The odds of her making it as long as she did were very, very low. Um, but even even in the midst of it, sometimes you can you can take moments for granted, and uh, you look back on it, and you're like, "Holy cow! Every last moment was precious." Unfortunately, this is a family connection that Tyler and I share. I lost my mom to ovarian cancer in 2013. It strangely feels like both yesterday and a lifetime ago. But our families aren't the only ones missing such critical pieces. The American Cancer Society estimates that nearly 22,000 women in the U.S. will receive this diagnosis this year alone. The problem with ovarian cancer is the symptoms are so normal and women don't really think anything's going on. You've got a bloated stomach. Well, so what? I've always got a bloated stomach, you know? Um, you've got cramping going on, things like that. And the problem is, by the time women find out that they have ovarian cancer, most of the time they're in stage three or they're in stage four. Tyler is now raising awareness with an idea and a bicycle. I'm gonna be going 100 miles in a loop around that stadium. <laughs> and so, dude, I, I mean, I don't know how long it's gonna take me. It might take me six, it might take me eight hours, uh, but I'm going in a circle over and over. A solo ride on September 19th. He's calling it Pedal with Columbus, and he hopes to raise more than $20,000 for the Colorado Ovarian Cancer Alliance. Uh, to go 100 miles, I, I mean, I'm training for this. I'm trying to get ready for it. I don't know if I will be able to ride 100 miles before that date or, or not, uh, but that, that's what's going to be kind of cool is that I got to physically challenge myself uh, to do something like this and uh, put myself through a little bit of pain to raise awareness for others. I got a feeling, Tyler, that uh, I don't think you'll be quitting on that. On that. <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. Yeah. No, I won't be quitting. I will not be quitting. Yeah. To help support Tyler and this cause, visit 1043thefan.com slash pedal.